Monday is always a really, really busy day. Heading down to London on the train to shoot Vibe 5. It is a good opportunity for me to get a little bit of work done and I like organising my week on a Monday on the train. Typically it's it's one time when phone signal's terrible on the train so I do get a little bit of chance to, to plan some stuff out and that usually gets me set up for the, the remainder of the week. I, I look at what videos I've got to do for when I get into the office later in the week and, and I'm usually sorted. When I arrive in London, I usually have about 30 minutes or so before we start recording the podcast. That 30 minutes will usually be spent looking over the running order, what games we're going to talk about in what order. We usually have a printout of the match stats and that sort of stuff. Uh, quite often, if there's a game that I haven't seen on a on a weekend, I will try and watch that on the train on the way down and, and try and read some match reports from some of the games. Interviewing players is... It's a big privilege, and obviously we, we got that. The door gets open because of, of Rio. And even uh, working alongside Rio is, is mad considering, you know, my memories of watching Rio uh, as one of the best players I've ever seen playing for Manchester United and now. Is that what it is? <laughs> Forget this, mate. This is Joel Bear's channel right now, mate, yeah? The deadly duo, Steve and Joel Bear, coming back soon. If you see the cameraman, I've got him leaning, mate. He's doing a vertical just so I can get my face in the vlog. <laughs> working with him every single week. It is surreal, um, but it, it's good because he's genuinely committed to doing YouTube. He's in the scene. He's constantly banging people in our WhatsApp group that, what about this guy? Do you think this guy's a good presenter? I like the stuff that this guy's doing. He's on the pulse. And I think that's how I ended up working with him. I think he genuinely watches YouTube and know who he wants to get involved with. And, and I think that's what's, really cool about working alongside him aside from the opportunities that we get from it it's working alongside someone that is genuinely interested in what they're doing most people of course know me for either me hosting on formerly full-time devils now strip for paddock or when i created my own channel uh, i think it was 2016 i created my own youtube channel and 2018 I got serious with that and got a city centre studio and it's really those last five years since getting that city centre studio where things have really gone absolutely bananas and we've got the number of staff we've got now which is is quite a sizable behind the camera sort of staff that we have in a typical day I will probably record between four and five videos I try and post two per day on my channel but I also have the fan channel five um there's things going on for stretford paddock and sometimes i have to work for for other people as well so there's a lot especially when i get into the office there is a hell of a lot of stuff that goes into recording videos there might be voiceovers like i'm doing right now for for some other stuff they might be checking over some of the things that are going out for stretford paddock but it's also planning my training sessions and, and watching tape of our last game and, and seeing where we went right, where we went wrong uh, and planning for what we want to be doing with the football club. But training, I run that myself and that's evolved from the first season when I was very much a novice where I allowed everybody else to do that. I run training myself now and I find it very rewarding. Um, I have a curriculum, an 18 week curriculum that I try and stick to. Sometimes that's not possible with either attendances or there's something pressing that you need to work on ahead of next week. But I try not to be reactionary with my training. I try and plan it in ahead. And most of my life is centered around football, but it's not the only thing that I love doing. I am a father, I have two children, and I've got other interests, and hiking for me is a big one of those. Be careful walking back, Spencer. Oh, I got it. There's a lot of rocks. Risk assessment, boy over here. <laughs> you still got a first aid kit. Of course people know I was I was in the armed forces for seven years and it's still a massive part of my my personality and I still have a desire to, to serve and in some sort of way and I've just got this affinity for, for being outdoors and you know being cold, wet and miserable maybe it sort of suits my personality a little bit. How are you feeling Steve? Good. How are you feeling Janine? Alright about 170. Tired, it's been a while. <laughs> 
Well, so do. But I do like hiking and I do like getting out there and clearing my mind on these days off. It's only a bit out of date. <laughs> yeah, it's not like bread, is it? It's mouldy. <laughs> it's vacuum sealed, isn't it? So. Come on, on your bowl. Yeah. Which flavour is it? Um, espresso and yeah. hazelnut. Cheers, give me the coffee one. <laughs> Cocoa and peanut butter. Yeah. Would you like me to open it? Yeah. Now, Getting out amongst nature is a big way that I do that. And one of the reasons why I've started the IRL channel is to show that side of me and to maybe push and explore that side. And there's a little bit of an excuse to go out and have some adventures out on this channel as well, because I think there's a lot of scope for that. And I think there's probably a lot of interest in that as well. I get your best uh, sheep impression, Janine. <laughs> what is it? Hot lip toe. You don't have to really sip it if you don't want. My strong hand. Go to a look. Where are they? Yeah, that's good. Where's the best view? You said this was hot. Is it? No. It's cold. That was that one coming on. I don't know what to do. I've, I've used it once. So why are you sure that if it's what it is then? Because it is what it is. Look, this has turned itself off because it's waiting for you to fuck about. DJI is so fucking complicated. They are a bit complicated. Let's guide you to the next one. Like an active track. Come on, I'm waiting for you here. It's fucking loading! See, it's made that noise now. There you go, so... So I have to say what it was that I enjoyed the most about coming out here, it's definitely the weather, I think. It's peaceful as well. And the weather mostly. Pretty sure I went to a Wales game in Qatar. You might have. Yeah, but why was that, mate? What? What? Other well, I mean, that, that, I mean, just saying. Thursdays are yet another busy day in the office. First thing first, we will come in and we'll do a live. Following that live, we jump straight onto the Heads Gone podcast for five with Ash Williams. This podcast with Ash came about, I, I genuinely don't even know. We became friends, really, and that was the top and bottom of it. And I think we became friends from, if I remember this right, we was going to the Broadcast Journalism Awards, and I walked into the office and Ash went, 
you look like you can drink. And I went, what? And he was like, are we having a session or what? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then we had a booze. And I made him drink water by about half nine. And then he was my mate after that. <laughs> um, we obviously hung out in Qatar. He's recently joined Stratford Paddock FC uh, as sporting director. And we'll, we will talk about what he's doing for that uh, in detail at some point. But yeah, Thursday starts off with, with doing this with Ash. Um, the football talk on this show is sporadic at best. We get into aliens, conspiracies, all sorts of stuff. Um, but Thursdays is a big one. We get through Heads Gone. Uh, I then go and record the In Off The Bar with the fan channel. And then I've got to record all the rest of my videos that will be going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday on my channel. Um, and that is a is a very very hectic day um recently we've just started filming xg files on there as well so there's at least three one hour long podcasts all in the same day which is a little bit of a nightmare you've got every section of the team including all these new signings are you ready to go yeah Fridays are a little bit similar to Thursdays and the topics on a Friday on the brew uh, can be a little bit similar to what's happening on the Thursday as well. But Fridays generally as well is a, a big preparation. This is where I actually pick my starting 11 for the game on a Saturday before we go and play as Paddock FC on Saturday afternoon. So I get that out of the way on a Friday. I let the squad know in the WhatsApp group what the squad is going to be. I don't actually put the 11 in there. And then I'll spend a good hour or so going over what I'm intending to talk about and if there's any sort of uh, adaptations to our tactics for this weekend. Democratic Republic, she's West Germany, oh. Mongolia, China, classic stuff. Burma, not even a country anymore. If you so, could split any country into an east and west, or north and south, because you've got your yeah. north and south Korea. Yeah. yeah. And we used to have our east and west Germany. Yeah. yeah. Give me a country you want to split on an axis, and you can either have it east, west, or north, south. And why? We're not doing Ireland, because that's a... Yeah, that's right. that we don't yeah we, don't want get, we don't get too serious with yeah. this. Can we not do it in England? That yes. Yeah. Yeah. East and yes. west. No! no. Sorry, north and south. south. Right, where's yes, the middle yeah. one? That doesn't really count. Yeah, so... Um, he, he blocked me, because I used to tweet him, saying, fight me, shit, bro. Yeah. Look for the space. Always looking for that inside ball back into the box if we can from a wide winger. Okay. This is the shape that I want us to build out in. As if talking about football all day, almost every day wasn't enough. Saturday is the day where I really live it as well. Um, Paddock FC is an eight-hour job on a Saturday, and I well underestimated that reality. Travelling to away games, I mean, we've, we've been to Dublin um, in summer, but that's not a regular trip for us. Occasionally, you're looking at a two, two and a half hour drive in the Cheshire League. There's some quite long distances. We're in the Northern Cup this year as well, which I think has got some seriously long distances that we might have to travel. But I'm there usually about uh, a good hour and a half before kickoff. We have the full match, and then I have to do my interviews and, and this, that, and the other, chat to the players uh, before heading home. There is a lot of work goes into the tactics and the planning. Uh, there's a lot of work in making sure the players get there on time. They are the bane of my life with that, uh, as well as obviously getting the results on the pitch. In the bucket, in the bucket. Don't overplay it, Teddy. Oh, I'll talk in depth in future stuff about how this comes about on a Saturday. Um, maybe in this week at Paddock. You know, but very often I end up having to record videos for the main channel in my car. We've been fortunate enough that not that many games have clashed, but there's a few that have clashed. Uh, and quite often I need to catch up with the game, getting home before I can go and post a video on the channel because I'm not going to talk about a game that I haven't seen. So this is a long day. Usually starts off with dropping my daughter off early doors. Um, we take her to gymnastics first thing on a Saturday morning, get her changed, leave her with my mum usually while I go and do what I've got to do for football. 
get her on the way home. And it's usually a good 12 hours or so that I'll be outside the house uh, on any given Saturday. It is Sunday, which means it's a bit of me time. And that means time to do a bit of riding, which means breathing out of my ass for a couple of hours. But it's all good fun. When you don't slip on leaves. Alright, made it to halfway point. I am knackered, man. And I'm, uh, I'm pretty muddy as well. Bikes ended up pretty muddy. Uh, job, job, I guess. I like this. I like doing outdoor shit. Not like that dog going off. I like this. I like it when I catch my breath at least anyway. I've only just um, started getting back into riding my bike. Literally a dozen times on it maybe. Maybe about 10 since I got it. All the injuries that I have with my, my ankles and calves and plantar fasciitis and stuff like that. This is no impact and it absolutely kicks my ass. So I'm really enjoying uh, getting amongst it like this. And uh, it's flooding everywhere at the moment in the UK. So the water looks great. I mean, there's a, there's a little stream here, which is kind of giving it some. And there's like a big fountain over there that's kind of kicked off a little bit. Just makes a nice change from Football and football and football and football and and actually I like coming out on my own as well and not having to talk to anyone. And just be my own thoughts for a bit. So as you know, football takes up 90 plus percent of every single week and day of my life it's all day monday it's a bloody long day on tuesday thursday friday saturday and sometimes sunday as well this channel house and irl house and in real life is more of the stuff that i do outside of football you see loads of the football stuff you know i, I have a few channels that i'm featured on where you can see as much of the football as you want to see. This is me doing the things that I like to do outside of football. You know, from hiking to, you know, biking to some fitness challenges or the time that I spend with my family, travel. And there's going to be some more stuff that we show you as well uh, that we haven't actually disclosed just yet. If that sounds like your cup of tea, you want to get involved maybe with some of the fitness challenges. I'm not an expert in this stuff, I just like it. So come and be an enthusiastic amateur with me or do it vicariously through YouTube, whatever you feel like. Hit subscribe and let's see where the journey takes us, all right?